All right, so we've got an absolute value equation here and a cubic equation. And they want to know what an approximate solution is here. So try the problem out and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. All right, so this seems to be a popular question on the regions and it's a frustration of mine, but when they say an approximate solution for the equation f of x equals g of x, right? Um, and it's not wrong that they're doing this, it's just that it's confusing because what they're really asking for are the x values that that make f of x equal to g of x. In other words, what can you plug into one equation to get it equal to the other? And if you look at the choices, I mean, just look at the overlap here, right? So the x value is matching, and then this is the y value of this point. So clearly, it's it's these two things are equal, probably, let's say, at least at these two points here. But they're really asking a question to distinguish between whether it's an x or y value, and that's really frustrating to me because really what's interesting is can you find when they're equal, and what does that really mean about context, and not can you find where they're equal and recognize that they're actually looking for an x value, not a y value. But let me, let me digress and show you what I mean. So here, if I go to the y equals button, I can quickly enter these two functions, clear off any old things. And then I press three times the absolute value. Now, absolute value is under the math button. And under number, the first choice is absolute value. And I get the little brackets here. You, you might not get those. You might, you might say abs or something. But the idea is now I have absolute value. I'm going to go out of the brackets and minus 1. And then I enter my cubic function. It's 0.03x cubed minus x, what else, plus 1. All right, now here before I go to my graph, oh, I press graph, I'm zoomed in from an old one. I was going to say that what I usually do before I even graph to make sure I'm not zoomed in or something is I press zoom 6 first, and it graphs it on a standard. And there I see, oh, there's two hits. And then you here the interesting thing is to realize, okay, they they might hit again. So let me go to my window, and I'm going to check leave my x min alone, make the, make the x max, I don't know, 30 or something, and then make my y max, I don't know, 50. Let's see if that, if that solves the issue, or shows where they're going to meet, and it does. Okay, so I'm a little too high there on the x-axis, so I'm going to go to my window, and make my x max, let's say, 18. Let's see if that, that would work nicely. Okay. So now I'm interested in the points where they meet, so I press second, calc. I go to choice five, which is intersect. And I'm gonna go over to this point up here, which I think approximates the point they're looking for. Hit enter. Then it's gonna hop again on my second curve. They call everything a curve, and then I'm gonna kind of hover over to, to guess where I think they meet. And there's the intersection, 11.3, 32.9 or here, this point right here. So you might be tempted to circle choice four, but this is a point where they intersect. It's the input and output, the value when the outputs are equal. So they want to know just the x value where they meet, and that's just choice two. I'm not even going to test the other point, 1.96, because that's an output of where they meet, and they're looking for the inputs. I wish they would just say that, but I have not seen a region's question of this type where they're not just asking for the x value. So if you see them say an approximate solution for this equation when f of x equals g of x or something like that, they're asking for the x values that make that true. All right, hope that helped.